Something I love about zombie games is how they vary each different type of zombie from the more subtle differences in the Dead Rising games to the more drastic differences in Left 4 Dead, Resident Evil or The Last of Us. With The Walking Dead we've recently been reacquainted with that more capable walker variant, and even before that a third much more powerful, stronger and faster variant, and now possibly more in this video. We're going to talk more about the potential of more variants in The Walking Dead universe, and a bit about Dead City. That is of course along with Fear the Walking Dead, the next Walking Dead show coming up, and that is where we're likely going to see more variants. The trailer for Dead City, and in fact, everything I've seen from the show so far, looks really good. I'm excited for it now. I know what you're thinking. Oh, you saw a Resident Evil zombie in the trailer, now you like it, now you've changed your tune. Yeah. We still didn't actually get the reason that Maggie and Negan go to New York City. We're going to be talking about why and when they go there. They have kept a lot of stuff for the spin-offs, which does make it more exciting, especially when it looks this good. You know what isn't good, though? Getting your personal data stolen. We all have to watch our favourite stuff online, but it's not always safe. But thanks to today's sponsor, Atlas VPN, you can be completely safe and risk-free on the internet. No! Atlas VPN is the best, most affordable protection that you can get for all of your devices with just one subscription. Atlas is really good for when you want to watch a show that is only available on certain streaming platforms in certain countries. For example, every single episode of The Walking Dead are all available on Disney Plus in the UK, and when those big Walking Dead spin-offs start to happen, they will go straight to Disney Plus in the UK after they've aired. Every single episode of Better Call Saul are all available on Netflix in the UK. Switch your location to the UK and you can watch all of them. And of course Atlas is more than just a VPN, it stops malicious links, ads and trackers and notifies you when someone is trying to steal your data. Atlas have got you and because it's the Christmas time of year they've let me give you 85% off. For a 3 year subscription it's $1.70 a month which means 6 months free. So if you want to watch all of your favourite shows and be fully protected online go to the link in the description or the pinned comment and get Atlas VPN now. So let's start with Dead City. Negan and Maggie are basically playing Daisy in real life. The first thing we see in this trailer is them both hiding from this guy with a long black overcoat and a motorbike helmet with blades on it. It couldn't be any more Daisy. In a later shot we see his face. He's bald even scarier. But we see them walk past this sign, well, graffiti on a wall, that says, at dawn, come kill with us. So, New York City is basically one big free-for-all. They've likely seen this guy kill, but I think he could turn out to be friendly, though. Just another person brought to New York City. The question is, why? Why are people being brought to New York City? What brings Maggie here? We see this new character with similar clothes to what Emil wore in Fear the Walking Dead. He was a bounty hunter that hunted Morgan Jones. Don't know if that's got much correlation. He also had a twin brother appear later called Josiah. But it's probably best we don't delve into Fear's antics right now. Wendell and I were not exactly twins in conventional terms. Mom died having me. This character is clearly looking for someone or something and has been told number 53 because he's got his finger on the number and it takes him to Manhattan. Maggie is said to need and want Negan's help. While Negan is cocky again and similar to what we saw in the season 11 premiere, he doesn't feel the need to be as apologetic. This time though, like he said in his letter to Judith, he's found himself, so this Negan will be a lot more fun to watch. Really excited for that, but at the stage they were in in the main show finale, she wouldn't have asked for his help then, when they were on good decent terms. So what has happened for her to need his help, even now that he's Negan again? I think she'll either hear or witness Herschel and perhaps Negan's wife or kid will be taken. The CRM is what connects all of the spin-offs, even fear. I think it's obvious, so just like the other interesting characters we see scattered over New York City, they are looking for people. Although he looks scary, they're all just people looking for the villain, because they've all had people or things taken. Also, note how Maggie didn't take Elijah, Lydia, Aaron, or anyone else that she trusts. Why is it Negan? Could it be that some of the other characters have also been taken? Dead City is also set, and I quote, several years later, 
and the characters are vastly different. Maggie already seems better, and Negan is back to how I like him. So, with all of these things in mind about Dead City, will there be more Walker variants, and does The Walking Dead even need that? Well, it's important to understand the end of the main show is the end of the format, and The Walking Dead as we knew it, each and every season of that show, was following its base comic storyline from Robert Kirkman's comics. Now it's got to the end of that storyline, it will get a lot more crazier. At first, as most of you will know, those more capable walkers we saw in season 1 was because Frank Darabont was directing the show. After the first episode in season 2, after Frank Darabont left, they then got dumbed down. They've only just decided that that was in fact a whole different variant of Walker, and even after making that fact, making it canon, they still didn't really do an awful lot different. I mean, that big different variant reveal that was in inevitably coming at the end of the main show, when Negan saw it and said, what the fuck? Realistically, it was just a walker climbing a bit. It wasn't too different to what else Negan has seen. We get the trailer for the Negan and Maggie show, and we see this. Now, to obviously tick this box, yes, it could be a walker affected by the environment. For example, when we saw the well walker or burnt walkers, this could be one that's been left out in the rain. But what makes this so different is it looks to be protruding from inside itself. It looks to be twisted and bigger than every other walker we've seen. It has orange eyes. If you look to the right of the walker, you can see it's almost been bent downwards, meaning that the part on the top left is likely still the same walker. Any other variant, as we've seen in The Walking Dead, would have been halved. They're quite weak so this likely is another variant. If I compared this type of zombie to any other zombie type, I would say the Rat King in The Last of Us Part 2. Just reading some of the characteristics from The Last of Us Wiki, the Rat King possesses incredible strength and resilience, surpassing that of a bloater, shown in how it could easily smash through and destroy much of the lower levels of the hospital, including an ambulance, and was capable of taking extensive damage before dying. After taking enough damage, some of the in intertwined infected can break off from the larger mass. Once an infected has detached, it can have traits shared with other types of infected. For instance, one infected which detached resembled a stalker in behaviour and appearance, but was able to throw sacks of mycotoxin similar to bloaters. It appears every single infected connected to the mass are their own entity, as opposed to the mass being a single one. It appears the Rat King is made up of some of the first people to ever be infected by a Cordyceps brain infection in the city of Seattle, so basically the first ever people to turn in the The Last of Us apocalypse, so it makes sense that this is like the Rat King, because The Walking Dead has never been in New York City, so they might just find infected people that have remained untouched for years. But would any of the shows in The Walking Dead ever implement such a thing like the Rat King or any other type of zombie above the three types that we know of already? Yeah, I think they would. No man, too crazy man. Okay, well you said that when I said they were going to be fast. We're literally seeing a bigger zombie right here. This could be the season one finale big boss battle for Dead City, and I'm all for it. Like I said, they managed to introduce the idea of more variants in the main show, while still keeping it mild enough to not be too silly. We're past that now. The main show's done. We already know we're getting running walkers in Daryl's show in France. So it would make sense that there's different locations with different infected. Now you might ask, wait a minute, how come they went nearly 10 years without seeing this more capable walker variant? then. What, what's happened there? That's a bit unrealistic. Well, as we first saw them in Atlanta and then stopped seeing them after that point, we have reason to believe they're from cities like that and migrated because of the big herd on the way to a big place like the Commonwealth. So you wouldn't really have to worry about it getting too silly following this theory, of course. It doesn't mean that happy ending we got at the end of the main show will be interfered by big bloaters now and it's even worse. It just means that at different places in the world of The Walking Dead, there may be different types of zombies. In France, they're much faster because of what's happened there, with some places, likely the cities, having the more capable walker variants. Bigger cities, especially islands that New York City is, would have the more untouched beasts that this one is. To answer the question of does The Walking Dead need this, no it doesn't need it, they've already introduced three variants. They're going down that road and they've mixed it up enough, but it would be a 
really cool addition that would definitely make it stand out. I hope they do it, I love it. Especially with HBO's The Last of Us adaption on the horizon, maybe they thought they've needed to add more. With such an already massive zombie show coming out, what do you think? Do you even want any more variants or types of zombie? Is the three different zombie types enough for you? Or would you love screamers or bloaters? And what are your thoughts on Dead City? Are you excited for it? Are you more excited for the Daryl show or the Rick and Michonne show? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Of course, press the like button on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.